WADIF is a graphical frequency planning tool that quickly identifies spurious free bands for intermediate frequencies. It also allows for optimal local oscillator LO configuration, including low side, high side, or sum. Start out by synthesizing a new WADIF design. Now you'll see the WADIF properties window. This is where you configure WADIF. You can set the name of the frequency plan, and that'll automatically fill in the dataset name when you create it. You can set the number of parallel mixers, if the IF is at an input or an output, the maximum order of the spurious products to be analyzed, the range of the spurs to consider, you can analyze every valid IF for your design, or look at only one IF. Let's look at the Inputs tab. Now you can see the illustration schematic. This schematic isn't simulated. You can change the mixer settings here, like if the output frequency is at a difference or a sum, and the RF, IF, and LO specifications. For this video, I'll do an example of a dual-band receiver with one IF. A dual-band receiver minimizes the cost of downstream components. Go back to the Settings tab and increase it to two mixers. Notice how the illustration schematic updates with two mixers connected to a combiner, which is a splitter in reverse. The first band will be from 869 to 894 MHz, with a center frequency of 881.5 MHz. The bandwidth is 25 MHz, which is already the default. We'll specify an IF bandwidth of 1.25 MHz. And we'll say that this mixer has an input drive level of minus 10 dBm, with an LO drive level of plus 7 dBm. The second band is from 1930 to 1990 MHz. Select mixer 2 to change the settings for that. We'll pick a high side LO to have it above the RF signal. The center frequency is 1960 megahertz, and the RF bandwidth is 60 megahertz. Both mixers share the same IF, so they both have the same 1.25 megahertz IF bandwidth. We'll leave the default input drive and LO level for this mixer. Now click Apply to synthesize the frequency plan. This plan shows the performance of all the IFs at the mixer output. If you mouse over a region, you can see information about it. This entire cross-hatched region is an invalid frequency range, because one of the configured mixers won't mix that high. Let's go to Graph Properties and change the scale. I'll change the x-axis frequency range to 900 MHz max. Now you can more clearly see the region that we're interested in. The blue spurs are from mixer 1, and the red spurs are from mixer 2. The green regions are spur-free zones. You can mouse over a region or a spur to see more information. When you mouse over a spur-free zone, it'll show you the frequency range that it covers. When you mouse over a spur, it'll tell you frequency range, amplitude, IF, and LO of that spur. Generally, any spur-free region will be good for an IF, but you should also consider bandwidth and spur amplitude close to the region. For this receiver, I'll use 328 MHz. After an IF is selected, it can be analyzed individually. Go back to settings and examine the worst case behavior of 328 MHz. Now you can see the spurs around a single frequency. You can also see the calculated LO for each mixer.
Let's look at the Type tab. For each mixer, you can use a double balanced mixer, select a part, or create your own. The double balanced mixer has additional parameters. For parameter definitions and a schematic, go to the Help menu. Then go to Synthesis, What IF Frequency Planner, and click on Dialog Box Reference. This contains information about every dialog box in What IF. It also has a schematic for the double balanced mixer and parameter descriptions. Or you can load an intermod table from a part. Select a library. Then select the Table Mixers category. Pick a mixer that fits your specifications. Now you can see the mixer table for that specific part. For advanced information about mixer tables, look at the Mixer Table part in the Help section. Also look in the Help section for a guide on creating your own intermod tables. Click Apply and the Frequency Plan will be rerun with this selected part. Now you've seen how to select intermediate frequencies using what IF, and how much better it is than all traditional methods of IF selection. Open up Genesis and try for yourself. Thank you.